But yeah, it, I do like this head, whereas I think like Commander Cody I have, he's on the shelf, I forgot to bring him down. The head is a lot smaller than this one, but this is this is actually pretty nice. He's gonna blend in pretty well on the shelf, even though he's not the newest style. But that's pretty cool. And then the Ahsoka's clone. Phase two clone right there. Today on the channel, we're going to be unboxing Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. This is a Star Wars The Black Series figure. It is part of the Bad Batch. Um, I remember seeing it in the Bad Batch, but I feel like this was also... Let me know if I'm wrong, but I thought I saw these guys in Re Revenge of the Sith as well. When uh, Palpatine went to Mustafar to pick up what was left of Darth Vader. And I'm pretty sure I remember seeing these uh, Shock Trooper uh, clones there as well. Okay, yes, I've had this one for quite a while. I always wanted to get two, but I only have one, so I don't know. I hope they redo this with the newer style body and everything, but uh, happy to have this one. Finally getting some of these clone troopers unboxed and these Bad Batch figures, so it's time. It's time to get them. So there was the front, here's the back. Here's the side window, a little, little light in. Side view. And your galaxy artwork so right there's no glare that's pretty good except for now you can't see the bottom right there is better and the top is your little window let that light in the bottom is your barcode and legalese i'll zoom into that barcode if you need it for whatever reason set it here put the camera back get a little closer look at everything and then we'll get it completely unboxed here's the black series logo i don't know why mine is all it's almost like it got weird tape stuff on it I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's weird. I did buy it on Amazon from another seller a while back. So I don't know. But there he is, looking pretty cool. He's got his big boy blaster, little boy blaster. Technical terms? Not. I just, I'm not good with blaster names, so I don't remember. I should probably remember what those two are because every clone comes with both of those blasters. One of these days. One of these days I'll remember. All right, there is the Bad Batch, Clone Shock Trooper. Back, Black Series logo again, a pair of Clone Shock Trooper, a little blurb if you want to read it. There's that artwork, pretty sweet. And the bottom barcode legally is number seven in the Bad Batch. I'm going to set it here, get the camera tilt down, grab my X-Acto knife, cut that tape while I'm doing that. Just want to say if you're enjoying this video, if you give it a like. If you enjoy Action Vigor unboxings, toy hunts, uh, shelf tours, uh, go ahead and subscribe to Hey What That On My Shelf and get all that in your feed. Also, uh, if you have a fun comment, that is also very, very much welcome. All right, let's get Clone Trooper, Shock Trooper out of out the box. All right, I'm gonna get a grip here. Spin him out, all right. Cool. Plastic out of here. Get these blasters out of here. Oh, geez. Oh, they kinda messed it up a little bit. Oh, well, I bent the end. You can see where it kind of got white, where I bent it. Oh well, may have to paint this guy, this blaster. Whoopsie, my bad. All right, and the blaster. Very good. And shock trooper. It's getting a little loud. Here we go. Ooh, a little lot of loud. That was it. All right. Whoa, what is what's that pose? Was, nobody wants to see that shock trooper. All right, let's see. All right, it's looking pretty cool. Yeah, it's the old school. As you can see it's uh, glued in down here instead of as opposed to being pegged in on the top. I am happy to have it though. He still looks really good. He's gonna look good on the shelf. Regardless of whether he's newer articulation or not. All right, let's go ahead and do some articulation and then we will look at them closer to some other clone troopers and then uh, do some scale and then posing of course so there is a ball joint i'm trying to see if there's one in the bottom of the neck yeah so there's a ball joint in the bottom of the neck or the ball joint in the top of the neck that's what's getting this good ince, ince factor ince, ince, ince. that works very good so the head up is there he's got this pauldron on his head up is like next to nothing but his head down is really good so that works 
the arm, like I said, this is gets a little funky, so you have to actually lift it above the armor, the old ones, to do that, which gets kind of funky. Um, but there is a, there's a, oh, my brain is fried. A butterfly. Holy smokes. Yep, there's blood, butterfly movement in there. There's a peg going into that. Peg on a rocker. There is no bicep cut. The newer style has a bicep cut. These old ones do not. Um, this has a peg on a rocker right here. Get you 90. No pins, which is great. And then you got up down on this hand. I'm guessing a right left on this hand. Yep, kind of standard on clones or any troopers really. Um, then you got your ball joint here. So as you lean back, you're leaning forward. A little side to side action. Get you where you need to go. No thigh cuts. No thigh cuts. No uh, waist cuts on these trooper figures. Inside the leg is a ball joint going in. Your kick out is there. You move the armor the right way. Same with the kick forward. It's got to be more than that. Yeah, if you get the armor spun just a little bit, you can really get it up and then back. And I forgot to show, it does have this nice little uh, peg going in down into this armor, so it is a nice little thigh cut there without looking like a weird thigh cut. It's just done inside of the armor, looks great. And then the peg on a rocker there for the knee. This is glued in, the newer ones it is just free flowing. And then a front facing peg on a rocker for the foot that is super tight. I hate when they're weird like this and they feel like they kind of snap, snap, snap. Because it's hard to get a good pose and get them to stand when it's doing that. Yeah, both feet are just funky. Oh well, hopefully it gets to a point where you can stand all right. Looks like all right right there. Ish. Very good. All right, so here is the phase one clone trooper. This is the newest one that just came out. You can remove the helmet. You can see the uh, shoulder pieces are pegged in. So when you go up with the arm, it's just so much nicer. Yeah, and then we've got phase two. Clone Trooper, same deal, it's the newer body. But they look pretty good together. Um, the helmet, sometimes these helmets end up looking, when you can't take them off, they look really small. This one's not horrible. It's not bad at all, really. You can see. So this is, I think it's because they started, at this point they started using like a head mold. And they just kind of, um, if I can get a focus. Because you can see that's where his chin would be. See his chin on this one hand chin um, and they they made the helmets to where it looked better by putting like a head inside already but just molding it together but yeah it, I do like this head whereas I think like commander Cody I have he's on the shelf I forgot to bring him down but the head is a lot smaller than this one but this is this is actually pretty nice he's gonna blend in pretty well on the shelf even though he's not the newest style but that's pretty cool and then the Ahsoka's clone phase two clone right there all right, let's bring the camera about here-ish, tilt it down, and we'll get this guy in a better spot. We'll pull these guys out of the way, and we're going to show you everything that came in the box, and then we will do some scale. That looks pretty good. All right, there's that blaster, the big one and the little one. Let's tilt it down just a little bit. That looks pretty good-ish. There's, there's a focus. All right, so that's everything that comes in the box of so this Imperial Shock Trooper, Clone Trooper. We'll pull these to the side, get those out of the way, and then we'll throw some other figures for scale. I've got a Super Battle Droid here. I've got, let's see, I don't really have any other Episode 2 figures. Here's a R, R4. And then, well, let's do R4 over here. And then R2 and 3PO, I guess. They're just sitting right here. There's 3PO, here's R2. Actually, let's go with this. Good enough. I, I should have brought some other figures down for scale, but I think the, uh, the Super Battle Droid works. And the little droids show off his size. All right. There is your Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.